Hi, I'm Father Roderick. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of February, and this is what made my day. I just finished watching the live stream from NASA announcing that they have discovered seven exoplanets circling uh, a dwarf star, an ultra-cool dwarf star that's about the size of Jupiter. Well, the most amazing thing is not only that they've discovered seven Earth-sized planets, but that those seven planets are in a, in, a, in a situation where they could have water, where even three of them are in a, a habitable zone around that small star uh, that has just the right conditions for life. Now, as you know, we have a number of space telescopes circling the Earth, pointing, of course, their, their uh, lenses towards this, this solar system that is only 40 light years away from us. So it only takes 40 years for the light from that star and also for the signals from those planets to reach us. So we're almost watching these planets real time. And what these space telescopes now can do with all the research um, data that they will provide us with is we can now observe these seven planets and perhaps even detect gases and even gases that may indicate the presence of life on one or two or three or even more of those planets. I couldn't be more excited. This is, of course, a major discovery and this is only the beginning. We've only started building these big space telescopes. The, the, the science is still in its, in its infancy in a certain way. So this makes for a lot more potential discoveries in the future. If I speak personally, I would be super excited if we could detect life on other planets. And in a certain way, if you look at the explosion of life on this planet alone, and if you see how inventive life is, how much it, it just changes and surprises us every single moment of history, why would that be confined to this tiny little speck lost in the universe? If life ultimately stems from God, and God is so full of life, why wouldn't life be all over the place in the universe? I think we've got some very, very exciting centuries ahead of us. I'm Father Roderick, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.